Welcome to this Solid Mastermind top tip for Solid Edge. Before we start, remember you can access many more of these great videos by registering for a free Top Tips membership over at solidmastermind.com. In this session, we'll look at some of the other useful options we can use when using the Smart Dimension command. As we've seen already in previous Top Tip videos, the Smart Dimension command is very versatile and can be used in a very large majority of dimensioning scenarios. Here's another technique we can use when we need to place dimensions to tangent points on arcs or circles. Once we pick Smart Dimension, the command bar can be used to set various options as we've seen already. One of these options is Tangent. We'll set this Tangent option on and pick the circle near the left side. Then we'll pick this other circle near the right side and place the dimension. If we wanted to switch the Tangent option off part way through, this can be achieved with the same toggle switch. When picking the elements to dimension, the tangent points used are those closest to the point at which the arcs or circles are picked, as we can see in this example. Don't forget the shift option that was looked at in an earlier top tip. This will create an aligned dimension rather than a horizontal or vertical one. Remember these smart dimension options mean we have less reason to use additional commands to place dimensions and helps us save time. If you liked this video, please comment on it using the space below. And remember, to access many more of these great Solid Edge videos, please register for a free Top Tips membership over at solidmastermind.com.